are going to be using this metal uh, storage shelf as cabinet. So as a shelf and later on as a cabinet to store um, not only you know our clothes and other things, but we are going to also add a uh, indoor grow room inside the van. Uh, for some people, they love pets, they love dogs, they love cats. Me personally, I love plants. <laughs> when I was thinking about van life, definitely always in my mind thinking about how can I incorporate plants in there. So we're gonna use this shelf uh, for a little space for them. I believe in comfortability, actually being comfortable in this lifestyle. So even though there's definitely some sacrifices, some things that you have to get used to, um, you know, things like my hobbies or my comfort are things I'm not willing to sacrifice. So this shelf housing and growing my plant babies are really gonna give me a lot of fulfillment. Important is to take measurements so you know exactly what can fit, uh, how big of shelvings or storage space that you're gonna be building or installing. Um, how big is it gonna be? How long is it gonna be? And can it fit in your bank? Now, if you are working with these uh, metal top shelvings, one of the main pros and reasons why I chose these shelvings is because they're adjustable. So I can actually adjust, uh, you know, how I want my shelf, depending on what I'm storing or what I'm putting on it. If you've never uh, put any of these shelves together, Basically, first you're gonna put these little locking brackets. We have our first set of bottom floor shelf. Okay, so the first thing that's gonna be in our lower portion of our shelving area is going to be our Sterilite plastic storage container. Um, it came with three shelves, but three shelves was way too high, taking up a lot of space. So I removed uh, one of the shelves and I only got, and I'm only gonna utilize two shelves. And then I have this area right here where I can put appliances uh, like a slow cooker or my air fryer uh, that I have that I can place right here. Now, in between, we also installed another shelf, a very, very uh, skinny area, and that I plan to build like a table so you can roll out a table and I can work on that. Or right here, I can just store, it's skinny enough to store a laptop under. Now we're going to put uh, one more shelf up or we're gonna put some storage containers up here. We're gonna measure that, put a shelf up. And then from that, it would be uh, where our nursery is gonna be. There's containers in here. Do these are, they don't have the size on them, but they fit kind of perfect right inside here. So, this is great. Everything looks like it's it's working out and fitting perfectly. These actually containers are a little longer. Shelf, but fortunately for me, on the back side of the shelf it has more space, so I can actually utilize this space. If I didn't have this container here, I wouldn't be able to utilize this space back here, just because um, shelving and stuff. So now this gives me a little bit of extra space to actually utilize the space that's behind the shelf and we have it here these sh shelves i know you're probably thinking wow that's kind of close to the bed how's he going to open uh the drawers well actually the bottom drawer opens out pretty good enough i mean that's more than halfway i can definitely get stuff. uh the top drawer it opens maybe about uh 40 to 50 percent so that's still good enough for me to get my hand in and get whatever i need i am pretty happy how things are turning out so far everything's fitting um now it is to place uh another container where we're going to keep our plants in right here and this fits perfect family uh this is uh, i believe a under the bed tote all right and this actually fits perfectly on the shelf right there um and that's what we're actually going to keep our plants in so it's good to especially if you're mobile but even if you're at home it's good to have your plants um in something like a container like this just because it's dirt involved it's water involved and it can get messy so this is going to help with containing uh the dirt and the water the splash and the mesh and everything inside here and then what we're going to do is 
because uh, we don't have a lot of headroom in our van, this is <laughs> the other leg. This is way too long. It's definitely not gonna fit. So what we're gonna do, we measured and we're gonna cut just enough off that it can reach or go just below the ceiling. So that can give us another few inches of headspace. And that area is important because that's where like the lights would be hang or anything like that. So we are going to cut to a small uh, battery operated bandsaw, but it makes quick job of, of any metal that you're cutting that can fit in this middle space here. But you can use anything when you're cutting metal, uh, a jigsaw, um, anything, any uh, tool that you have to cut metal will work. the babies uh, are in um, the only thing to do now to complete the grow room is or the indoor grow room of course are the lights so um, I had this uh, LED light in storage um, I'm definitely going to get some more some more portable ones um, that I can just put on top but for now we are going to work with what we got this one does uh, raise and reach so that's going to be helpful we'll just uh, fix the lights there and uh, another reason why I got this uh, portable generator or solar power portable generator Jackery Explorer 1000 is because I knew I I uh, was going to need some electricity for these lights and I wanted to make sure I get a large enough um, power generator that can not only provide light for my babies but provide electricity for me if I want to power anything um, like a heater or you know like a an appliance a cooking appliance or anything else charging my phone um, this is one of the main reasons why I got this one and why I got uh, the larger 1000 explore 1000 so let's give it a try what happens and definitely built something like this with wood but it would have took a whole lot longer than in one video uh, so this is the reason why I went this route just because I am limited with time I am currently living full-time in my van going to work uh, my babies needed this like they wanted this they've been working with me uh and they definitely needed light as fast as possible but i'm definitely going to have to get something and make lips so when i'm driving this just don't come flying off but i do plan on making like uh, some actual enclosed wooded uh kind of cabinetry or something like that just to kind of make it look a little bit better but I am happy. I keep talking. Anytime I get to to my babies, I just I can just go on and on and on. Um, so just for a little bit, um, what we have in here, we have some comfrey, we have some chives, we have some rosemary, we have some wood sorrel. Um, we also have some ginger, um, and we have some mugwort. So I definitely want to get the rest. Uh, you know the common um, herbs like sage, like thyme, and also some uh, little exotic herbs that I'm used to growing, like uh, Bacopa minari and um, like Go-To Cola. Those are two of one of my favorite herbs. I always love growing, growing not just because the way they grow is just so beautiful and they just cascade down, but they have an extreme amount of medicinal value and I'm really into growing um, herbs that I can personally use. Uh, so we got this week's van tour in the books. I'm super excited to see this light. 
on the top of my uh, babies. Thank you everyone for following the journey. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the comments. Again, family, uh, comment about anything. If you have any questions about plants, about um, my van build, on why uh, I, I started this van journey, on uh, things that maybe some suggestions that you have that maybe I can do better. I am super open, <laughs> super open to that. Uh, anything whatsoever, just say hi to put a smile on my face. That is greatly appreciated. Family, remember True Tribe likes and subscribe. And as always, the key to true freedom is creating your own reality. Heavy, heavy love, peace, and light.